Hello oh, YouTube. Back with the next episode up. I did tame a beast of buffalo like I said in my episode about it. Unfortunately I you didn't get to see the ending part of the tame because of like two or three dialogues came up trying to kill me. Well this thing was about to be tamed and I forgot how fast they tame. Yeah, but basically now we have a source of cementing paste. So, and also we can knock out creatures a bit easier. trying to show you here. It just kind of killed the dialogue, but yeah, you can knock out things with this. Okay, then so. I think I'm just going to upgrade. It's swimming a bit of midder, but I think I'm just going to upgrade plane movement speed on this. Stack of meat out of my petrodon though, and put it in my bezel buffalo. What did I say I was gonna? Oh, yeah, I remember what I said I was gonna do tame a megalodon. But first, we're gonna go get supplies to make the megalodon saddle by killing bugs. And are usually a ton up on this hill. Let's reach it. Is that packy or that's a packy? I thought that was a dialo. Bugs, where are you, bugs? Bugs. 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 Oh, there's a bug. Wonder if you can jump backwards with frogs. Did their bodies land? I lost their bodies. Maybe if I go in the first person, it'll work a bit better. There's a bug. I'm kind of wondering how this would work in real life, if it even does work. I mean, I guess the bug's chitin mixed with a saliva, turn, and the frogs crushing the bugs when they eat them. I guess that turns into cementing paste. Because according to the end game thing, it takes just rocks, which I assume to smash it up, or the mix with ancient or keratin. What was that? Pompey. Uh, 
I'm on, where is a thing, bug, whatever. There are two places I know where tons of bugs spawn. That is up here and at the bay I sh showed you a couple episodes ago. But there are no bugs except for like two that I found up here. Seriously. Like no bugs. I'm going to go down the swamp. Oh, no. Crit Frogger. Let's see how close I am to crafting it though. I got almost all of the hide I need 20 more and 30 cementing paste. So about 22 cementing paste. I swear every time. Oh, never mind, it's already lit. I thought it was a bit darker. Brownness can't really get us. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Talk to my mom again. I do love these frogs though, just for the fact that they can jump extremely high. So can Procractodons. Wonder where that spino is. Oh frick. Frogger. No. Okay, Frogger is okay for now. For now. There's another one. I just dodged that snake's attack. Let's do this to the snake. So I'm gonna kill the snake. I was having such trouble finding those bugs before was that was kind of grassy. Oh man, I'm glad I didn't accidentally hit that thing. The Dimorphodon, because those things just swarm you and our hitboxes are so small. And plus, since they can fight. Oh, I was, I was about to say where'd I get that prime meat from. <laughs> but it's from the snake. Movement speed, movement speed, movement speed. Why was my frog stand by decreasing? I guess I was poisoned by bug. I know the other bugs do up. I did not know the Meganera did that. Here's a dialogue. Dang it. 
Maybe I can dodge that. I wonder if dinosaurs will eat and actively attack their own kind. Because I know they will if there's a player on, but I believe that's because they're tame, but I'm wondering, like, if they're wild. That's interesting to know. Because I know you can eat yourself in this game if you die and they go run to your body. Which is always interesting, nonetheless. So we are good on cementing pace from now on, plus we get Chin from the Bees of Buffalo killing them, giving us even more goodies. Yeah. Now I should learn how to make that Stego set before I try to learn anything else then fail. Okay. There is something that I do want to do because when I was traveling through the swamp a couple episodes ago, I did acquire some plant species X seeds, which will be interesting if I can grow them. Basically, they are turrets. And then potentially, if you get something like a Parser or a Bronto, put them all on the back of it with a platform base. You can actually uh, kill, kill for once a Giganto. I think it's six that you need but if you're wondering why that's so impressive, you 30 perfect tame T-Rexes that are fully max leveled and evenly distributed in melee and health cannot kill a level 120 wild giganto. But the way knockback is set up on the plant species X, six of them firing at once can knock it back. Like, keep knocking it back. So it can never reach you. And man, I love hopping around in the bees with Buffalo. This play drop's pretty close. And I thought that turtle was a rock. Also, one thing that I do have to, that I have noticed about the turtles is that they have a ton of health. This is just a blinding white light. I literally cannot see my Beazle Buffalo. <laughs> Hope it gets better once it, and it doesn't get better once it lands. Okay, never mind, it got better. What do notes do? I know they can be used in cooking, but I don't know how or what or So if you guys do have an idea, leave them in the comments or no. Okay then, so this episode is about 15 minutes now. Stego, no, and 200 high. Bezel Buffalo, you stay there. And it's time to hunt. 
I didn't think they would all attack me like that. I am literally just jumping so far away from them. Okay, that guy is dead. Now let's work on this one. Okay. That gives you more hide. And work. Good, and I still haven't grabbed any food from the last episode. <laughs> and like as soon as I mentioned, I just did instantly get starving. So. I think I'm going to schedule this to upload tomorrow upload other episode tonight. Somehow this meat still is in a perfect 20 stack. I'm not going to question that fact. That hasn't spoiled yet. Should I really be eating this meat that's been sitting there for a while though? Should I? Okay. What just happened? Sound like I was like jumping very rapidly on that. Oh well. Okay, so I should have enough of the goods now. Problem back? No. Oh, oh, that said 290 high. <laughs> oh. That wasn't too bad, but I thought it said 200 and... Just 200, actually, not 250. Well, then. Time to go kill. I don't think I fed Demi. Um, I hope Demi doesn't mind. I haven't fed him. Well, 32. I need to make some more arrows while I'm thinking about it. Ammo. I need more thatch. Hmm. I think this has been a pretty productive episode. We're about to explore the ocean soon. I'm surprised that one is not running. <laughs> oh, that thing is dead. Just the first time I hit it, you could see its face get all bloody. These actually give you a pretty decent amount of XP for what they're worth. Actually, never mind. They don't give you even a tenth of an XP. Okay, that should be just enough to make it. Yep. How many narc arrows for? I'm gonna make a couple more. There's twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20 narc arrows. 
And still I have 16 narcotics. Oh, I leveled up. So, I actually need to equip my crossbow for the trank arrows. Why don't I take my bezel buffalo into the ocean? <laughs> also, it doesn't run out of stamina too quickly, and once it gets down to... Once it starts to get low, I'll go back. Ooh, I definitely attracted their attention. Weasel Buffalo can also breathe underwater. I did not know that. Come here, Megalodon. <laughs> I'm basically playing chicken here. So I could leave it. Well then. That was a very bad idea. I only want one shark though. <laughs> Not a whole herd. There's two, four, six of them. So now it's level 16. Definitely too low for me. Uh, that's a four. Way too low. I know what I should do. Instead of taming one or knocking one out, we shall kill us a megalodon. Ooh, there's level 41. Come here, megalodon. Okay, 16. What the heck? That there's the one I want to tame. Oh, I am actually suffocating. I forgot I had oxygen. That one's actually stuck on a rock. It's not stuck on a rock. Is it just me or does it actually look like the crossbow bolt is entering the water? Yeah, it's definitely ent like glitched or something. Oh, okay, is it tranked? It's tranked, it's tranked. Okay then, so that's good, that's good. Okay, those are will come after me, so I need to Get my crossbow at the ready here. Why can't I move? Okay. There we go. Okay, it's. Food is going down really slow. So is its torpor. Was it female?
I want to kill one of these Megalodon though. I want an episode, an episode of me killing a Megalodon. Ooh, I actually killed it already. Okay. I'm going to end that episode with me just going on a mass murdering spree of all of these low level Megalodon. This guy is level 48. Yeah. Good. He has arrows. Who and what is this? Medical. I'm good on air for now. Ooh. I can actually stand top of them. And where I do these Megalodon skip berries, the world will never know. Three primitive stone pickaxes. More meat is harvested with the pick. Okay then. Where is my Bezel Buffalo? Well, there that he is. She, I don't know which it is. Okay. There we go. That was a wonderful kill. The Gax. Oh, my inventory is too heavy. I'll drop all these spears. That is a very cool coloration. Okay, since I have that, I'm going to just increase oxygen. This one's coloration is pretty cool. Come at me, bro. Oh, scared. Scared me. Well, you should be. He got wrecked. They must up the Megalodon teeth dropping. Because they did not used to drop this much teeth, anyways. They used to only drop like one per kill. Ooh, laser shutter. I need that. Bow, primitive. This episode has been 30 minutes. <laughs> and my Bezo Buffalo is just fine under this water. Can frog can you drown a frog in real life actually? Wonder if you can. 
No, no, but I can drown myself in game. I don't know if it's just me or to. I think that sounded pretty feminine for a male character. I don't know, but I'm not a breathing expert. Dang it. They must, uh. That itchy must have killed the. <laughs> not killed, but took away its items of the. Megalodon itchy, I don't want you. Push me towards sword. Push me towards shore, you itchy. Yes, itchy. I can just use these stem berries. But I cannot eat them underwater. Can you not do anything while swimming? Or well, eating wise? I guess you can't. Okay then. Well, I think this has been a very productive episode. Going on a mass murdering spree of megalodons. Yeah, I think this is good. So, anyways. I'm gonna almost fully tame the Megalodon by the start next episode. So, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.